Hi, welcome to today's session. We're covering phrasal verbs. Phrasal verbs with in and out. In English, there are over 10,000 phrasal verbs and just a simple phrasal verb in and out has hundreds of different combinations. So we're gonna share with you in a few sessions, the most common phrasal verbs with in and out. Stay to the very end so that you get all the information into your brain. Let's get started. Phrasal verbs with in and out, part one. I'm gonna share with you eight in and eight out. And again, like this is like a real classroom. So I'm gonna give you a sentence with one word missing and you're gonna fill in the blank. Please try to guess the answer so you use your brain and think in English. There are eight words at the bottom, which will decrease as we, as, we, as we correct each question. So it'll go eight, seven, six, five, and you'll see less words. Once you get to the last word, well, you won't even have to guess it. There's only one left. So let's get started. But before we do, here's your quote for the day. It's always, it always seems impossible until it's done. Nelson Mandela. So let's get going. Use the words at the bottom of the presentation. Let's start with in. You may need to change the form of the verb. So in other words, you add ing or ed, change the tense or an s, any of those variations to the verb. So a phrasal verb, as you remember, is a verb and a preposition. So you may need to change the form of the verb. Again, Try to guess the answer. Don't wait for my answer. I'll give you a second. You can also pause the video to try to guess the answer. That way you will exercise your brain and you'll learn the most. Refugees are still and the authorities are running out of food and water. Choose one of the words below. Refugees are still pouring in and the authorities are running out of food and water. Pour in means enter in large numbers. I wonder if my prints are ready yet. I'll at the photographers on the way home and find out. I wonder if my prints are ready yet. I'll look in at the photographers on the way home and find out. Look in means to stop by or visit briefly. Don't leave your friend at the doorstep. Him. Don't leave your friend at the doorstep. Ask him in. Ask in means to invite someone to come in. This is an exclusive restaurant. They won't you unless you're wearing a tie. This is an exclusive restaurant. They won't let you in unless you're wearing a tie. Let in means to allow in. We were having a private conversation and he just We were having a private conversation and he just butted in. But in means to take part in a conversation without being asked. Because of the shortage of staff, prisoners were for most of the day and only let out for meals and an hour's exercise. Because of the shortage of staff, prisoners were locked in for most of the day and only let out for meals and an hour's exercise. Locked in means to prevent someone from leaving by locking the door. By using their axes, the firemen managed to the door and rescue the boy. By using their axes, the firemen managed to smash in the door and rescue the boy. Smash in means to hit something violently until it collapses. To start the program, the computer operator has to 
a special password. To start the program, the computer operator has to key in a special password. Key in means to type something into a computer. Now let's go to phrasal verbs without. What he was saying made us so angry that we, as in protest. What he was saying made us so angry that we walked out in protest. Walk out means to leave as a sign of protest. As Jim was crossing the park, the mugger suddenly and attacked him. As Jim was crossing the park, the mugger suddenly jumped out and attacked him. Jump out means to come out quickly and suddenly. There were guards at the front of the building to any protesters and stop them from disrupting the meeting. There were guards at the front of the building to keep out any protesters and stop them from disrupting the meeting. Keep out means to not allow to enter. How can I get Susan to go out with me? You know she likes dancing, so why don't you her to a disco? How can I get Susan to go out with me? You know she likes dancing, so why don't you ask her out to a disco? To ask out means to ask someone to go on a date with you. If you want to lose weight, you'll have to everything sweet. If you want to lose weight, you'll have to cut out everything sweet. Cut out means to not include. There's always some toothpaste left in the tube. I can never manage to that last bit. There's always some toothpaste left in the tube. I can never manage to squeeze that last bit out. Notice that you split by putting the noun in between the two parts of the phrasal verb. That last bit goes between the squeeze and the out. Squeeze out means to force something out of a container by squeezing. They didn't get home until six o'clock in the morning because they celebrating all night. They didn't get home until six o'clock in the morning because they stayed out celebrating all night. Stay out means to not return home. We don't want mom to notice us leaving. Leave the back door unlocked and we'll try to while she's watching television. We don't want mom to notice us leaving. Leave the back door unlocked and we'll try to slip out while she's watching television. Slip out means to leave quickly and quietly. And there you have it. Eight phrasal verbs with in and eight phrasal verbs without. I hope you enjoyed it and see you in part two.